Hi there. This is our December Center update. I'm Reverend Monica Driscoll, Transitional Minister for Unity Spiritual Center near the Villages in Fruitland Park, Florida. And I wanted to, uh, as usual, every month try to address where we are uh, as we move into mission-centric. And so um, last, month, last month, we talked about job descriptions. And I wanted you to know that I know many of you worked diligently with Reese Dolan to create your ministry's job description. And so I wanted you to know that what you created, we will begin with when we go to revise and revamp these into a mission-centric culture. So there'll be some verbiages, changes, and I'm gonna need your help in doing that, you, you minister heads, and I'll be reaching out to you. But I wanted you to know that we're not starting from scratch. All the work that you did with Reese, we will absolutely make good use of. They're great job descriptions, and now we're just gonna convert them into the mission-centric culture. And if you'd like an example of that, all of our job descriptions for each of the board positions has been done and is completed and is on our website. So feel free to go and look at that and take a peek at it. So as we move into transforming lives, inspiring people to make a positive difference in our world, there are things that we do that facilitate that. So although we're not in mission centric yet, we've got a ways to go. We've got some a lot of shifting in our culture because the way we've been doing church over the 200 years in this country doesn't work anymore. There are so many ways for people to experience a spiritual uh, connectedness to God besides the traditional steeple church. So, you know, it's there's so many opportunities for people to choose. And so we've got to find a way that taps into these new thought people, the people that are searching to find the answers about God. And so we provide that here, but nobody knows about us. So how do we get that word out? How do we bring those people in? Because being in mission centric isn't about growing in volumes of people. It's in personal growth for each of you that are already here and to facilitate the long-term effects of your transformation, we need to build structures. And so we're in the process of building those structures. Job descriptions is one of those. The other ways that we do this is through spirit groups. Spirit groups uh, we've been doing for, for over almost three years now. So we will start another spirit group uh, in January, uh, first full week in January. And we'll be doing What Are You by Amelia Shanklin. And so I'm going to be in the process starting next week of recording six video lessons for us to use on Zoom so that we can then publicize this event for anybody out there in the universe, not just our community, but we're going to utilize Facebook to really expand who we are so that people know that we're here teaching this material. And we suspect that that's going to draw some folks, which gives us a broader stance of transforming lives. You see, we can't make you have a transformational experience. Nobody can. You, It's an inside job and you have to want that experience, which means you have to participate. You get to. You get to participate in these things that we're offering so that your awareness of who you are expands leaps and bounds. And when your life is transformed, you're more in a position to help transform others. And the way we do that is through being present with those. See, our objective is to take ownership of our ministry. And ownership means that you say yes to what we're doing, that you recognize that what's going on out there is not what's going on in here. And so taking total accountability and responsibility for all that happens in your life is part of that transformational experience. So spirit groups gives us an opportunity to come together as a community to have the material presented and you get to digest that material and make something of it for yourself. And so our objective is to make sure that these opportunities are there for everyone to receive. And so once you've received it, you'll be able to fully understand that you want others to get it too because it was so beneficial to you. So Spirit Group starts and we're going to start expanding our horizon. Now, if you've been on the website at all, we've got uh, some changes taking place with the website. We're making sure, first of all, that all of them, everything that's currently on our website is accurate and up to date. 
So you'll see some changes uh, take place there. And as well as, as well as uh, restructuring the website. And that's gonna start sometime in January, early February. We're gonna start looking at how are we presenting ourselves to the world? You see, because we have to have a bigger digital appearance. Church, especially with the, 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 uh, the uh, pandemic that we're in, has reduced attendance in church, whether it's by video, parking lot, in person, whatever any of these ministries are choosing to do, to keep the community connected, every church is losing people. And the only churches that are growing during this pandemic are those that are doing digital appearances. So we've got to crank it up a little bit. And so we're going to spend a lot of time on that this coming year, little by little, because we don't want to just explode and do it. We want to be able to manage it as we're progressing into this process. So I hope you'll every once in a while go to the website, take a look at it. I think it's looking fabulous. It's looked the best that it's ever looked and there's a long way to go. And we think we've got the right person in place to help us move through that. So speaking of spirit groups, we did a, a spirit group promo and that's gonna be in this week's e-news. Feel free to click on that link and watch a short uh, promo uh, by our spirit group host who talk about why spirit groups are so important because they really are. They really open the door for a personal connection far beyond what you can get on a Sunday morning worship service. Even if we weren't in a pandemic, you've got 10 minutes in the community room after service before you, you take your coffee and your donut and you leave. You don't have a connection with people. Spirit group gives us that connection, which is so direly needed in all of the ministry. So please feel free to jump in. You don't have to know the material. We're going to present a video. You read the material, get the book from Barbara Richards. If you don't have her contact, call the church and they'll get you her information. But what are you by Amelia Shanklin? And the other process that we will continue to do is the Q process training. And the Q training teaches us how to be accountable for when we are negatively triggered by things that normally might not trigger us or things that we know trigger us. And so the process teaches us how to resolve the conflicts that take place when we are triggered by an outside event within us and sometimes an inside event. And so we'll be doing a promo on that uh, process as well. And that's coming up in January. So those are the two primary things, but I wanted you to, to know that we're not in mission centric yet. We're still in minister centric. But my job is to move you all the time into that process. And one of the ways that I do that is, is every time we make a decision to offer anything, does it have the possibility of transforming lives in a deeply meaningful way? If it doesn't, then we need to say no to that, that idea, that concept. And so social activities bring us together to have a community experience. And we're always looking for social activities. If you've got one, give me a holler. Uh, let's see if we can put it in place. We want to have an opportunity for people to meet. It's strange circumstances right now, but let's hear what you have to say. Give me a holler. You know, we just did our um, driveway packed holiday gathering, a fairly successful event considering we're in the middle of a pandemic. So we had some 30, 35 people participate and uh, that's a pretty good showing for this time of year and for what we're going through. So I'm grateful to Karen Donahue for pulling up and all the work that she did to pull that event off. And uh, if you see her, please tell her how grateful you are. She worked tirelessly to see that anybody who wanted to had an opportunity to come out and connect again with our spiritual community. Connection is important right now. Right now we're moving through it. So um, this coming year will be a lot of classes, a lot of opportunities the spirit groups, the Q process training will all be there. Uh, we have our annual board meeting coming up. So, um, and, and a plug for anybody who would like to be on the board. If you'd like to know more about it, let's, let's get you an application. You can find that on our website. But I hope that you'll take the opportunity to recognize that we're in change. We're in change and we're taking baby steps. And yes, it means that some things that we used to do, we no longer spend a lot of energy on. We're still doing outreach projects, but they're much smaller, more intense. We're right in the middle of uh, an outreach Christmas 
uh, cash uh, opportunity if you're interested in doing that. Again, check our e-newsletter out. And in January, uh, February into March, we're going to be doing some gift basket auctions, and all of those funds will go to an outreach uh, program. So we're busy doing it, but we're, we're also busy doing the other things that move us. And so I hope that you'll join in these activities and, and do not hesitate to let other people know about what we're doing. If you're not a friend of our Facebook page, please, please go ahead and do that. And when you see us advertise events, hit share, share it with your community. You never know how what you share on Facebook affects other people. You see, because it's our generation. I know, funny, right? The 50, 60, 70, 80 year olds are the ones using Facebook. The younger crowd, they skim through it. They like a page and that's all they look at is the pages. So we want these young folks, you know, 40s, to like our pages because then they get to see what's going on and they get to be triggered going, hey, they're doing that class again. I want to jump in. So I hope you'll help us with that. Godspeed. And if I haven't already said so, Merry Christmas. And we are having a Christmas Eve service at our parking lot. Check the website out for that. And uh, I love you. I bless you. And Godspeed. Thank you.